Good morning. I think we are live. We are live. Great. Good morning to a lovely opening scene with a few cones. A few cones. That's a good start. Good start of every day. Welcome. I'm in Kuhombus, a minor station close to Jiugaoka, which is a slightly bigger station. So, um, yeah, it will be a little relatively early morning walk. It's not even 10 o'clock over here yet. Um, but since it's been a while since my last stream, I felt like going out at least for a little while this morning. So uh, I'm glad to see that so many of you could join me. Those of you who have followed my channel for some time might remember this little park here. I came here on a night walk when I walked to Dan Chofu and uh, I think I had a beer at one of the benches and then I took a ride in that slide which delighted many of you, my dear viewers. <laughs> There won't be any beer nor slide rides today though, so don't get your hopes up already. <laughs> but yeah, over here is uh, one of the most beautiful temples that I know of in Tokyo, actually. It's a really nice place. I visited here a couple of times on previous streams as well, but uh, hey, it's so nice, so why not come again? It's particularly beautiful in the autumn, but we're not really there yet. As you can see, some of the trees maybe are starting to get a little bit of yellow hues. But uh, yeah, I think we're still uh, at least a month, probably more than that, away from... Um, um, from... Um, peak autumn. George Lopez. Tea has changed. What do you mean by that? Bring back the old one. <laughs> because I'm not taking a slide ride? <laughs> is that <laughs> is that why I've changed? <laughs> no beer, no slide, no how about a coffee? Maybe a coffee. No uh, those of you who have followed my channel for a while know that I, as a principal I never drink beer before lunch. And since it's early morning, relatively by my standards, we're not gonna have a, we're not gonna have a beer today. This stream won't be terribly long either, about an hour, an hour and a half at most is the plan. But yeah, I'll definitely come back here in another month or so when when the autumn colors are at their peak uh, and thank you Garfield for the super chat will I do another countryside walk anytime soon um yeah I probably will nothing's confirmed but uh, I think uh, maybe this coming weekend, no, this coming weekend, the, there's actually a typhoon hitting Tokyo. So otherwise I would have tried to go somewhere nice this weekend. But yeah, if there's typhoon weather, probably nowhere uh, this weekend. But hopefully the weekend after that. Oh, lots of kids here, which is not great. Actually, I should be a little bit careful with pointing my camera. There's lots of like, looks like a bunch of kindergarten kids on some sort of excursion today. So yeah, I will be a little bit careful to not point the camera at them. Although they're super cute, so I kind of would want to, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's appropriate. Surprised, it's quite a lot of people here. I was expecting this place to be kind of deserted on an early morning like this. Don't 
that's the level of walking skill that Mini Explorer has right now. She can walk if I help her hold her hand. But she is mainly still crawling. She can't walk on her own yet. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's a very peaceful and idyllic morning here. Someone's someone's making a little painting here. Place. Yeah, it's very nice, but this pond looks a little bit like it could use some cleaning. Yeah, all the sounds in a place like this. It's very peaceful and calming, I agree. I agree. Well, looks like they're doing some renovation, so I can't get any further this way. So I'll just walk down this way a little bit and then turn around and start heading towards Jugok. These cones are blocking my way. Yeah, the temperatures are finally down a little bit, so it's a little bit more comfortable to be out walking now. Um, it's been like, since I came back here from Sweden, it's been like 30 degrees or upper 20s most days. But uh, now it's finally down a little bit to uh, more like um, around 20. So very comfortable walking weather. So I'm really looking forward to this autumn do a lot of walks in a bit more comfortable setting. Summer is just too, too, too tiring for me. Yeah, some Swedish coolness to Tokyo. Well, I've been back for a month now, so that Swedish coolness surely took a much later flight than I did back from Sweden. But yeah, I think I will turn around here. Oops, and I will also switch off the sounds from my phone. <laughs> Just a moment, folks. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, it looks like a nice little pond down here too, but we're not not able to enter. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
おはようございます。These kids are so cute. <笑>おはようございます。おはようございます。あ疲れた？おはようございます。頑張って。頑張って。<笑>ほら、立って、立って立って。<笑> There's one kid just sitting on the floor, looking at me. <笑>And as you can see, the houses here are relatively big by Japanese standards. That's a pretty typical sign of this being a somewhat rich area. Morning. Thanks for all the kind words in the chat. I appreciate it. Happy to see so many familiar viewers here again. I'm still feeling a bit rusty when it comes to these live streams since I haven't really done them as frequently as before. But、uh, and I've also not been feeling very well the last couple of days. 
so I've been taking it mostly easy but uh, yeah I hope that I will be able to step up the streaming pace soon <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and also, before I forget, I want to do a little shout out to Bit of a Wonder. Because he is a super, no, mega sponsor, mega supporter of this channel. So, uh, he, that makes him a little bit extra awesome. <laughs> he is also a walking YouTuber, but he's based in the US. Uh, and makes lots of great videos from there. So if you're interested, you should check out this channel. It's linked in the video description. Let's see if we can find some decent coffee in Jugauka. I could use another cup. I still feel like I just woke up, even though I've been awake for like three hours already. But uh, I don't know. My daughter has, she's a little bit um, unruly at night these days. So um, it's affecting the amount of sleep we're getting, both me and my wife. Up until now, she's been very good actually at night. Not really waking us up that much. But uh, yeah, since we came back from Sweden, something has changed. And now she tends to wake us up several times every night. kind of shoes do I wear? Oh, these are so worn out that I'm embarrassed to show them actually. It's the same one that I've been, I've been using these for probably half a year now. But yeah, they're, they're really uh, in need of a replacement. So I will probably do that soon. And these are very dirty now. They're like very dusty. Uh, beer or coffee break. So uh, since it's before lunch, and I have this principle of no beer before lunch. And that means that if there's a break, it will be coffee today. Uh, no pink shorts, no. Actually, like I said, it's getting a little bit cooler now. So I'm wearing, I'm wearing long pants today, but right now it's actually a little bit warm, so could have probably survived wearing shorts today. Uh, if I've ever been to Mitaka area, yes, I have. I have. Uh, not super much. I've been to Kichioji quite a lot, which is relatively close to Mitaka. Uh, I also walked uh, through Mitaka on a couple of walks. Uh, I did this long series of walks last winter when I walked the entire Chuo line all the way from Tokyo Station to Takao. So in that series I did pass Mitaka. Did I miss Japan when I was in Sweden? A little bit maybe, but not that much to be honest. I really enjoyed being back to Sweden. This new place. I don't remember seeing this place before. Here's a little group of local elderly people doing some sort of activity together. Oh, cute. This cafe sun stand and crafts. Hmm. Sounds tempting. But I think there's plenty of decent coffee shops in Jugauka. So let's wait a little bit longer. See what else we find. Do you like the design magazine Kinfolk? It's nice, yeah, I, I like it. I haven't really checked it out anytime recently, but I remember when they started publishing it. It's like, what, 10 years ago or something now? Um, I was uh, reading it quite often. Some 
Italian restaurant here. Jugauka Pizza House. Mm. And Jugauka is sometimes referred to as Little Europe because people say that this area looks quite European. I'm not sure if I agree, although I can kind of see that there's some some places that looks like they're inspired by Europe. Some storefronts and so on. Intelligence. Hmm. <laughs> it's a beauty salon. Interesting choice of name. Around here, most trains, or yeah, not all the trains. There's two train lines passing this area. I think two or three. Uh, anyway, this line, the Oimachi line, is running at ground level, which kind of gives the area a certain character. It's not super common in Tokyo. Uh, at least not in the relative center of the city. But that also means that we have to wait for the train to pass. Here we go. Ah, okay, now there's another train coming in the opposite direction. So we have to wait a little bit longer. But I know that many of you love trains, so I guess you don't mind too much. What's one of the best things someone has done for you in Japan? That's a difficult question. But uh, I think one thing is when I travel, especially to like smaller cities and the countryside, um, I sometimes bump into people who are extremely helpful. Like I just, you know, people sometimes start talking to me and when I tell them what I'm doing and why I'm in their city. Sometimes people like really offer to take me around or they even offer me to come and have dinner with them uh, and so on. That happens surprisingly often, not here in Tokyo specifically, but when traveling to other parts of Japan. Uh, so that's, that's really nice. That's one of the perks of being a non-Japanese person who can speak a bit of Japanese, I guess. That's very nice. And uh, yeah, so sometimes like... When I was um, up in the north of Japan to report on the earthquake and tsunami 10 years ago, uh, I was offered to stay at some people's home like people who uh, basically lost their home in the tsunami, but now they were living in a kind of temporary housing that they got from the government. And they were like, yeah, you can stay at our place if you want. It's, it's you know, it's not big, but you're welcome to do so. So if you need a place to stay. So things like that, uh, I think that's what I can think of right now. we can cross here. Yeah, the streets are pretty narrow around here. And the train tracks tend to clog things up a little bit. So it can get a little bit stressful in neighborhoods like this with the traffic.
now we are approaching the central parts of Jugalka. Here's this nice little, I don't know how to describe it, but place with a few shops and stuff. And it's still so early, so actually many shops are, are still not open. Many shops here in Japan open at 11, so um, it's still just not even 10.30. But I think cafes in general tend to open a little bit earlier. Thank you, Dave. Greetings from the sun Sunshine State. Thank you, thank you very much. Do we have a coffee o'clock? Yes, I think we do. I think we do. Once I find anything that looks like a decent coffee shop, I'll get one cup. One of the things I really like about Yugaoka is this street, which is actually a covered river. I think there's still a river running below here, or a small stream at least. But yeah, this place which has lots of benches, and it's, it's very pedestrian friendly, which is not super common uh, in Tokyo neighborhoods. Either benches or ped pedestrian friendly streets. So uh, that's very nice. Have we seen coffee person lately? No! I passed there on the first stream I did after coming back to Japan, but uh, he wasn't there. So I haven't, I haven't seen him since before I went to Sweden. If you have to have coffee from a chain store, which do you choose? Um, good question. Good question. Uh, I generally try to avoid it, but because Starbucks is so extremely common, here and you can always find like a Starbucks nearby that's probably the one where I do buy coffee most frequently at least of all the chains but um, that's really not an endorsement I think their coffee is really not good at all but uh, so I would say if it's if I buy coffee from a chain store I think it would be Combini that's like the best it tastes good and it's uh, ridiculously cheap the 100 yen coffee so that's probably my the chain coffee shop I would go for if that if that qualifies as a coffee shop though I'm not sure so here's the station here's the other train line that's the Tokyo Toyoko line which runs between Shibuya and Yokohama I also did a walk when I walked all the way from Shibuya to Yokohama that was also last winter I think I need to revisit those walks and do them again soon. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can find any coffee around here. Place look nice, but they're not open yet. Thank you. Uh, rock away siren. Thank you very much for the super chat. Pronto a do deska. So ne. Pronto. Ma pronto mo son nani waruku nai desu ne. Toki ni pronto no pasta wa toki toki tabemasu. There's also a chain called Pronto here in J I think it's Japanese. Um, they're quite decent. They have uh, uh, quite good pasta, which I eat from time to time. Uh, it's, it's cheap. You can have like pasta and a decent coffee for less than a thousand yen. So uh, yeah, Pronto is not bad.
and also Excelsior. Um, the thing with Excelsior, that's another Japanese chain, uh, is that there's like two kinds. Some are like old and they have a different menu. But the newer ones are actually really good. The, the old ones, they usually don't really make the coffee for you. They just press a button. Uh, but in the in the renovated newer ones, the coffee is a bit more pricey, but usually the baristas are much better and they make they make really tasty cappuccinos. Hmm, I'm thinking where should I go now? I do want the coffee. Let's see if we can find a coffee shop on this street maybe. But I think this Excelsior that we just passed, that's an older one. Veloce. Veloce is not my favorite. Dottore is okay. Segafredo is good, but that's, I think, that's not a Japanese chain. Uh, Segafredo is really good, the coffee. I like that. trying to figure out ah there's actually a really nice coffee shop but I'm not sure if I can go inside there while I'm streaming because I have to take an elevator to get there it's on the third floor in a building nearby um, and uh, I think the signal might not survive the elevator ride but here I see a flag with a with someone pouring a cappuccino Oh, okay, Latte Graphic. This is good too, actually. That's a, it's also a chain. Uh, but they're nice, and I even have their app so I can get some discounts. Yeah, I think I will. Is it open? Oh, yeah. They're open from 7 in the morning. Nice. Okay. So, let me get a coffee here. Maybe it's crowded? No. Not uh, today? Take out? Take out. Take out. Take out. Take out. Take out. Yeah, right, Alpha Beta Coffee, that's the one I was thinking about. Weird to stand here. To <laughs> um, I'll be what way up the no, door. So they get the こちらで購入いただきました。はい。あ、500円で2回。あ、なるほど。じゃあ今買っても大丈夫です。はい、大丈夫。はい。あ、すいません。はい。ちょっと複雑なので、現金で大丈夫ですか。はい、はい。
会計千七百十六円でございます。はい。完成です。はい。Okay, so it took a bit longer than expected to buy the coffee, but.、Uh... Oh. Okay, so I've got my coffee. Oh, you want to see the menu? Sorry.、Uh, let's see if there's a menu here, maybe.、Uh, okay, let's see. I think here's their stylish menu Australian cuisine.、Uh, they have pretty decent food here, too.、Uh, this is a chain. Uh, by the way, they have shops, a few shops, not so many. But yeah, they have a glance at the menu, but now let me have my coffee. <laughs> nice cup! So, let's see. I think I see a bench. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so coffee break time. Coffee break time here. Breakfast is so hard to find in Tokyo. Really? You think so? I think breakfast at cafes in Tokyo is great. Almost every coffee shop has like morning menus or morning seto, as it's called in Japanese,、um, which tend to be extremely cheap, usually 500 yen or even less. And、uh, yeah. So,、uh, yeah, look a little bit harder, I would say.、Uh, All the Japanese ch coffee chains have,、uh, have breakfast. If you're fine with like simple breakfast, like a, a toast and a coffee and maybe a small salad, sometimes they also have things like scrambled eggs and bacon and sausages and stuff. But、uh, yeah, that's not something you can take for granted. The morning set here t e n d to be more yeah, a toast, or like to it's not really toast, just like. Toasted bread with butter and some jam. And a boiled egg and a coffee. Let's see, what else are you saying?、Mm. Oh, thank you, Gma Threefold, for the super chat. Thank you so much.、Uh, メンタイパスタ食べたことありますかはい、食べたことあります。まあまあと思います。そんなに好きじゃないけど、悪くない。うんっと。日本人にないね。外人さんばっかりかな。そうかな
今の時間は多分日本人はほとんど仕事してるから見るチャンスがないかな夜のストリームなら日本人もちょっと多いかなうーん So beer today no no beer today because、uh, this won't be a super long stream Uh, I will probably end it in about 20 minutes. So、um, then I will have lunch with my wife and daughter actually. We're going out、uh, this afternoon、uh, after, break,、uh, after lunch. So、uh, yeah, no beer today. Color starting to change out there.、Um, a little bit, but still not so much. It's still kind of like late summer vibe here in Tokyo, but soon, I think. Soon.、Um, I think the leaves will start changing, and when they do, I will make sure to, to go and shoot a lot of beautiful autumn videos for you. Skateboard stream?、Uh, no, I, if I would stand on a skateboard, I would probably just end up injuring myself. And doing that while live streaming, I'm sure it would be good entertainment for you, but uh, uh, not so good entertainment for me. <laughs> so, no.、Um, is the Japanese border、uh, for tourists again? No,、uh, it's not open yet, and there's no word of opening up anytime soon. No official statement has been made.、Uh, why do you think y u g a o k a is popular for girls?、Um, what do you mean, popular for girls?、Uh, is it? Yeah, maybe it's popular to come here for shopping.、Uh, Probably because it's quite、uh, easy to get around and it has a nice and kind of local neighborhood feel to it, but still a pretty good selection of, of shops and、uh, everything else you might need. And also, it's quite conveniently located. It's what, 15 minutes away from Shibuya? So, not so bad. Uh, are dollars worth much in Japan?、Uh, are you talking about exchange rate? It's fluctuating all the time, but、uh, I think right now. Yeah, I think the yen is relatively cheap right now. Anyway, I'm almost done with my coffee, so let's get going. I know that you want to see me walk, not just sit on a bench. <laughs> But maybe observing the street life here is quite nice as well. Which Tokyo neighborhood feels the most relaxing, least stressful to you personally?、Um, it really depends. Do we include all of Tokyo, like the, the entire Tokyo metropolis? Because in that case, I would probably say that it's some of the neighborhoods in the far west, in the mountains, where it doesn't really feel like you're in Tokyo at all.、Um, those areas are very relaxing, like Takao and even further west, Okutama Toka.、Um, around there, it's, it's,、uh, it's very relaxing. Otherwise, if we're talking like Still within the 23 wards, 
there's lots of really nice neighborhoods in, in Setagaya. Um, especially along the Setagaya line, which I've walked uh, a couple of times on this channel. There's many peaceful, relaxing neighborhoods there. Um, so yeah. But, but also there's many nice neighborhoods in the east of Tokyo as well. The, the vibe there is a little bit grittier maybe, but it it's, can be very chill and relaxing to, to um, explore those areas as well. It's not so commercialized uh, and very cozy. Oh, Yori Hult, you're awake already. Good morning. Are there squirrels in Japan? Yes, there are. There's even a squirrel theme park in uh, uh, Machida that I went many, many years ago. Um, where you can interact with squirrels and feed them and stuff. It was kind of creepy actually, uh, but fun. Uh, so yeah, there, there's plenty of squirrels here in Japan. Just finished my coffee. Let's get going. area where you walked up and took the ski lift thing back down looked really relaxing yeah that's that was Takao that was Takao that's still within the city borders of Tokyo which is kind of crazy when you think about it um, then there's also the islands of Tokyo like there's several several islands that belongs to Tokyo City which are also like completely different world even though you're still technically still in uh, Tokyo within the city borders. So I think I will head back here and pass under the train tracks and walk around a little bit on the other side of the station before I wrap up this stream. Here, my camera so well, right? Or my camera, my phone. Um, we make lives in Patreon each week. Uh, no, each month uh, is what I promised. So I still haven't done one this uh, month, actually. Hasn't been a September live. I was hoping to do one last weekend, but yeah, as I wasn't feeling great, I had to postpone that. But I will try to do one before the end of the month, so I just have a few more days to go. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully in a day or two I can do a Patreon-only stream. Nice looking bakery here. And here's another one of the Japanese coffee chains, uh, or coffee shop chains, Dotor. They're not great. They're also the kind of place where they just press a button um, to make the cappuccino for you. Uh, but they have quite nice uh, morning, morning set actually. They have really tasty egg sandwich that I that I can happily vouch for.
Yeah, if you haven't tried the Japanese egg sandwiches, you should. They're really good. They're always a safe bet. Like, I don't think I've ever had like a bad egg sandwich in Japan. So here's another nice coffee shop, the one I was mentioning before, Alpha Beta Coffee Club. It's up here. But in order to get there, you have to take the elevator and that would probably not be good for the stream. But it's a nice place. It's kind of like a, somewhere between a coffee shop and a co-working space. Uh, I like it. But let's walk down here the pedestrian only streets here's a little drinking alley not open yet but at night it's quite cozy I'll taste egg sandwich when I visit Tokyo yeah you should even just getting it at the convenience store is fine. But uh, of course, if you can have one freshly made for you, it's even better. live stream at night in Patreon? Uh, generally, my Patreon streams are always after a regular stream. Sometimes I stream at night, sometimes I stream in the daytime, but it's not, that's not gonna be different if you're on Patreon. It's just that you will get a little bit extra content. Uh, so after the regular stream, maybe I sit down and chat with my Patreon viewers for another 15-20 minutes or so. I did a night stream a few days ago in um, Asakusa, but that was a regular stream for everyone. Which has the best coffee? 7-Eleven versus Family Mart versus Lawson. I think for black coffee I prefer 7-Eleven. But for cafe latte, I prefer Family Mart or Lawson. They're about the same to me. But maybe Family Mart. Like in Lawson, they have this thing that the person working in the shop makes the coffee for you. Whereas in Family Mart, is, it's uh, self-service. They just give you the cup and then you put it in a machine and press a button. Um, so, I don't know. I feel that this that the staff has to do it is kind of pointless. <laughs> so I kind of prefer the, the, uh, the Family Mart style. I do, I try to keep a mix, mixture of evening streams and day streams, Hilda. Um, the last month or so it's been mostly daytime streams or morning. When I do daytime I prefer mornings uh, because then my American viewers can watch. If it's later in the day then it's kind of too early for Europe and too late for the US. Uh, so. But uh, yeah, I try to do evening streams uh, often as well. Especially now when I'm back in Tokyo again, because Tokyo is very beautiful at night. Uh, Olive, you haven't missed any Patreon streams. It's been 
like the last Patreon stream I did was before I left for Sweden. So in the beginning of August. So I haven't done any in September yet. Uh, but it's coming. It's coming in a couple of days. A couple of next days. So now it's almost 11 and the shops are about to open here. So as you can see, mornings in Tokyo are pretty quiet, but kind of cozy. I like mornings. Thank you for thinking about us in the US. Yeah, of course. Like, you are actually most of my viewers are in the US. So uh, I try to accommodate to, to, to the US uh, whenever I can. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, you, good for US means usually means bad for Europe. So it's difficult to strike the balance. Yes, Yeni, only two days to go. Have to hurry up. So yeah, I think that will be it for today. I will head back to the station now and wrap up the stream once I get there. Just at the one hour mark. So a little bit short today, but uh, as I said, I'm, I have plans to go out with my family today. It's my, my wife has a day off, so we will spend this day together. little detour up here anyway thanks everyone for watching today oh, almost 350 of you which is not too bad considering it's a regular weekday and uh, a bit of a weird time uh, But uh, I'll be back with you. I'll be back soon. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow. I'm not sure. But hopefully I can do a few more streams before the typhoon hits Tokyo, which is it's forecasted to come here at the weekend. And it can be very strong. It's a very strong one, they say. So I hope they're wrong, though. I hope they're wrong. Uh, Anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you all soon again. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Hey do. Mata ne. Wie Auf Wiedersehen.